Today's episode is sponsored by the letter R. R. And by Raycons. Also for this episode is a big bag of do not try this at home. Yeah, not even your friend's house on this one. This came off of a car that I promise I am not running a chop shop with. Um, and we're gonna cut it in half, but as you can see, it's missing the charge on the back, which is right there. Now, when I pulled this charge off of this airbag, I was super scared. I was in an accident a few years ago and the airbag coming out of the steering wheel like broke the bones in my chest. And it comes out <laughs> hard, <laughs> real hard. Everything I was see seeing online was saying to treat these charges as if it's a loaded firearm that doesn't have a trigger that could also go off at any time without warning, so. How did you treat it like that? Doesn't even make sense. I don't know. So first, we're going to cut the steering wheel airbag in half and uh, see how that's all folded up in there. And then I have created a special rig that we can screw that airbag charge into and then come, if, come in off and then come in off the side with the water jet. That way, if it goes off, it shoots this way and not up at the head and damage it. Math checks out. <laughs> we'll see though. <laughs> Show us your secrets. Well, they're gonna be good, I can tell. That takes up more of the compartment than I thought it would. So is that charge just a gas explosion that like fills? Yeah, it fills there and then it like smokes out of the side of the airbag. I know this from experience. <laughs> and then like burns your arm. This one's fun. It's better than dying. I guess. You want me to pull it out now? Yeah. We got two halves. If you can. Oh, it's real stiff. Oh. There's a... See? There's a weird shape cut out of the middle of the bag somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it explodes through that. Like, that's thick. Looks like it is thinner in areas to help it break through right there. But still, that's a, that's a tough skin. Ooh, work it. Oh, so here it's got like ropes that stop it. Oh, on the inside. So it won't like go through you. And this red circle that is multi-layered, that's where your head is supposed to hit, I assume. Does that really add that much extra cushioning? I don't know if that's for extra cushioning exactly, but... Or maybe it's got holes through it. Maybe smoke it... Smoke release. <laughs> no, I think it fills up those compartments and that center circle fills up a little bit more than... So it's not just a perfectly round balloon, it's a balloon with like a small balloon on top of it, you know? Overall though, that's a, uh, I mean, that's only half of the bag, but that's still a little bit smaller than I was expecting it to be. Does that look about the uh, right size based off of your experience? Yeah. Do we need it coming at your face really fast for you to remember? I don't even, like, <laughs> I don't even, didn't even see it, it comes so fast. I broke your sternum? Uh, it didn't, yeah, it broke my sternum and disconnected the cartilage on the connecting ribs. Now the question that everybody wants to know, was it your fault? No. <laughs> I'm sticking to that story. Do you think when they're putting this together, it's like a stuff sack? You just stuff it they in? They put the center in and then jam all the other <laughs> stuff in there? Or do you think there's a method? 
There's probably a little bit more of a method. It's gotta be reliable, like a parachute. Those are the studs that the uh, charge is attached to, which we already have set up in our rig here. This makes me real nervous. It could be explosive. But you know it's definitely explosive? the base you get from Raycon earbuds. Let me tell you a quick story. I've had my Raycon earbuds for about six months now and I have loved them. I was using them at a friend's house and I accidentally left them there. I was gonna do some work in my yard and I needed my Raycons. So I, no joke, drove round trip one hour to pick up my Raycons so I could use them while working in my yard. Yeah, they're that good. They sound just as amazing as other audio brands, but they start out at about half the price. And with the six hour battery life, they're perfect for whatever you're doing, whether that's working from home, working in the yard, or just drowning out the kids. My favorite thing about my Raycons is they just work. I open up the case, it pairs to my phone, I pop it in my ear, that perfect noise isolating fit. I uh, can't hear you. We can't cover everything in this video as to why Raycon is so awesome, or else the video would be like 30 minutes long. So if you wanna learn more, you can go to the link down in the description where you'll also get 15% off your order, or you can go to buyraycon.com slash waterjet. Okay, we are all set up now. We are gonna start on the back side and then come into it this way, thinking that that maybe has the best chances of setting it off if it does go off. If not, we'll still be able to see what's inside of it. And uh, it might be cool. I'm staying back here. Yeah, I'm gonna hide, you know, over there. Judging off the uh, pop in small fireball we saw, I would assume it is no longer active. It would appear that way. What is this? So the wires lead into here where there was probably some sort of charge. Some sort of cap. There's a weird coil of wire. It's like broken up uh, staples. It's <laughs> the best way to describe that. It was about in the middle right here when it went off. Huh. Okay, so this is what we think is going on here. So that top center dimple, I don't think that is where any gases come out of. They come out of these side ones all the way around. From the diagrams we were looking at, these staples, as we call them, it looks like it's some type of filtering media that filters the gases that are burning in the center when they come through and out those holes and then fill your airbag, which I don't know what it's filtering out, maybe arsenic. But if that goes like this, and the gases are shooting out the side, how does that inflate your airbag No, you've here? got it in backwards. Oh like that okay that makes more sense <laughs> so that's where all those holes are and they fill that entire cavity so they're not spraying the gases directly at the bag they shoot out into that cavity and, and then it's so hard and fast that it blows out the front and catches your head you heard it here first <laughs> so probably the worst description on, to exist on the internet of how airbags work there you have it going so hard and fast that it blows out the front. <laughs> That's what you said, Dan. <laughs>